All right, so this is our instrumentation room. This is my classroom, and this is where I spend all of my time. Uh, so I'll walk you around the, the room and show you each of our different stations and what you'll be learning at each of them. So here we have uh, our typical station within the instrumentation room. You'll notice that uh, on the left-hand side, you have a, a trainer from a company called Lavolt out of Quebec. So we have a pumping system here, and we have um, a level tank here. And you'll see that beside there, we have something called a differential pressure cell. And then we have a, a control valve that's on the top there. Each of that, those stations are being controlled by uh, the computers that are on the desk here. So the computer have, has some great software to control uh, the pumping system. And then within each of the trainers, we have various different types of, um, of units. So we'll have something like a, a pressure transmitter here that the students will wire up. This is a, a mock-up of a pressure transmitter that you would see out in the field. So that is a real differential pressure transmitter. So we start off uh, with the toy here, and then we move on to the more expensive industrial unit that you see out in the field. This again is a, a complete mock-up of a control valve that you would see out in the field with what's called a current to pressure transducer on the side there. Okay. Below here, we have all of our different uh, components. So we've got different flow sensors, solenoid valves, rotometers, uh, different ball valves, and gauges there in order to cover everything in instrumentation. In basic uh, instrumentation, you will cover, uh, you'll cover temperature and pressure. Then when you come back for intermediate, you'll be covering uh, flow and level. And then when you come back for advanced, uh, you'll be covering uh, se proximity sensors, PID controls, and pneumatics. Okay, so I'll just finish off at uh, each of these stations. This station right here you'll be using for electronics in advance. This one has a PLC, an HMI, and a variable frequency drive to control the AC motor. In addition to AC motor controls, you'll also be doing DC motor controls. So variable speed drive for the AC, AC motor, variable speed drive for the DC motor here, and how each of them are connected and the wiring for each. Then in my class for instrumentation and advanced, you'll be doing some pneumatics using these, these boards. And these guys are awesome in that anything you can do electrically, you can also do with air. So the students will wire up the push buttons and the selector switches and the relays on the side here in order to do sequencing of these double acting cylinders that are here. Okay, in addition to uh, each of the stations that are there, um, I make use of uh, these guys in basic. So you'll start off with uh, what's called an Arduino. It's a little microcontroller that has inputs and outputs. And we'll be using these primarily to do our temperature labs. So you'll be wiring up temp various temperature sensors to the Arduino, which is a little uh, microcomputer. And you'll be learning a little bit of uh, programming as well. The hope is that once we've worked on the, the Arduino, then you'll be able to wire up a PLC. So this is again a programmable logic controller and you'll be making use of this in both intermediate and advanced. So this is the brains of the operation, the PLC, and this is the touch screen that will control everything. Okay, so you're learning the basics on each of the different sensors uh, for pressure, temperature, level, and flow, and then making use of the PLC and being able to create something like this on the HMI to ultimately control your circuit. Okay, in addition to uh, each of these stations, um, for advanced, you'll be working on proximity sensors. So we have uh, various different components, using now various different components that will be looked at, and you'll be wiring up proximity sensors that you'd see out in the field. So we have various different sensors that you'd find out in the field like an inductive sensor here or a capacitive sensor. And you'll learn the basics of the wiring and the capabilities of each of these guys. So we have inductive sensors, capacitive sensors, uh, photoelectric sensors as well. And so each of, the, each of these um, units will go onto this extruded aluminum plate here. And then I'll have you wire it up. And then we can get into uh, some PLC controls with these guys as well. 
In addition to that, we have uh, various or two stations uh, here for process control that we'll make use of. So here and here. So the again, basic is doing temperature and pressure. Then you'll return for intermediate and for intermediate, you'll be doing flow and level. And then when you come back for advanced, you'll be doing uh, advanced controls. So proportional integral derivatives, so PID controls, the pneumatics like we saw on these trainers right here, and the proximity sensors as well as the PLC controls that we mentioned earlier. In addition to those stations, we also have a number of Festo control stations here. So we've got some pick and place stations that, uh, that students in the advanced class uh, are interested in working on. So once they learn the basics of the sensors and the pneumatics and have a good understanding of PLCs, then they can get into these trainers and it's literally moving uh, pucks from one station to another and having sensors uh, guide them into various areas. So it kind of encompasses everything in the room. In addition to that, uh, a lot of students uh, like to work on the 3D printer. So sometimes we'll be needing uh, you know, parts being made up. And so students will stay late after class, obviously not during COVID, but uh, once COVID is, uh, is finished, uh, this room is, is usually open and students come in and start working on projects that, that interest them based on the, the teachings that we've done in class. And one of those things is, th is 3D printing to supplement what we're teaching in the class. Excellent. Okay, so that's our instrumentation class. And so what I'll do is I'll take you next door and I'll show you our last class for electronics.